Today I'm just going to be discussed uh, regarding the how astronomy involved with the multidisciplinary applications and uh, the basically my session is going on the English but if you guys need uh, any question from the single language so it's okay you can just ask so I will just try to be just uh, processing via two languages let me share my screen um, Okay, well, I hope everyone can uh, see the screen in full mood. So, yes, you I... can. You can. You can. Okay, great. Uh, actually, uh, today, as I told you, today we're going to be just discuss something like a very, very newly trending subject in Sri Lanka as well as in uh, South Asian region also, uh, because of astronomy is. Uh, kind of a very old uh, science typical uh, subject and uh, the important case is how we apply astronomy for the day-to-day -day cases and how it's helping to the uh, people and also how it's uh, going to be cooperate with uh, different type of uh, innovation um, so my discussions I would like to just head in with a few of uh, prehistoric time because of uh, you see uh, the basically when you go to the outside in, in uh, some reason uh, you see some of uh, daytime and nighttime but uh, we just forget what we have been done at the nighttime uh, that is the sum of uh, behavior that uh, people have been just sketch a different type of uh, um, the rock cards and blind ruins and different type of things because of uh, it's concerns of the very all prehistoric time and people just try to be just hunting the different type of animals and after they just back to the their cave and they just imagine what the things that, that they have been done with the daytime and nighttime they just memorize all the things and just keep writing something like so this is so important because of uh, the, the subject like astronomy it's uh, the study the like uh, celestial sphere things it's celestial sphere means we call it from singhala kagole so it means there are a lot of things you know there are a lot of planets and the natural satellites like moons and also right now it's artificial satellites and maybe galaxies nebulas and there are a lot of things uh, we have to be study based on the um, astronomy and also we have to think uh, that uh, what kind of uh, timeline that we have been just passed uh, which is relevant to the astronomy even though this image you know it, it's uh, like Stonehenge which is uh, cooperating with the, some sort of a very similar subject in ancient astronomy and most important case when we providing the astronomy like subject in Sri Lanka what are the things that we can do and what are the researchers uh, that uh, available so this is the part on today that I am going to be addressing you especially not only innovation and based on some of uh, research also it's available if you guys have any questions so even though after the uh, presentation you can ask even though it's okay uh, if you have any sort of uh, doubt or anything even though middle of the presentation it's open to having a discussions mode because of I think it's better we can just head in with uh, this session as a uh, like a some of discussion mode and also that's why I told you a timeline it's so important uh, the thinking of timeline how it's occurred and especially how Asian people just calculate uh, the like uh, rotations of the uh, moon and like a uh, planet and they have some evidences and how they just uh, draw in uh, different type of uh, celestial sphere object uh, in the, their case because of you know uh, very Asian peoples uh, they have been just lived inside of the shelter caves even though Sri Lanka also we have uh, huge and rich culture of the prehistory so it's so important uh, and because of uh, when we are going to be explained like astronomy like subject we need uh, like other subject also like uh, like space science, engineering, medical sector, food science, maybe archaeology, 
geology and paleontology actually archaeology geology paleontology it's so important when we are addressing to the astronomy in sri lanka because of that is some of like a bottom level subject to which is helping to the providing astronomy why i'm telling like that the reason uh, i will give you some of a very two example but this example is not uh, quite relevant to the astronomy but uh, you can see uh, from the this corner two objects the one thing is we call it uh, the, the the crystallized one is called balangada point the other one is shark tooth the balangada point is has been dated uh, i think it's at least uh, 14000 years old uh, in between 13,000 to uh, 14,000 and this is uh, the drilling shark tooth uh, it has been dated uh, 14,000 uh, based on the carbon so you see the sharp hole that created by the, the prehistory man in Sri Lanka so that is the technology so that is the part we have to be identify and recognize how had been the, just doing this kind of scenario because of uh, the currently we say we, the, 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 the general phenomena is currently we just thought uh, yeah we are in the, some sort of like a development uh, world and we just upgrade a lot of technology but uh, for the my explorations of the astronomy and other subjects so when it even though when it concerns of the 15,000 to 20,000 years ago in Sri Lanka they have very unique technology so most important case we have to identify it for what it's so important to provide in astronomy also because of its combinations the archaeology and astronomy we call it archaeo astronomy it's a new subject and combinations of the astronomy and geology it's astrogeology or terrestrial geology it's also so important and also uh, combinations of the astronomy and paleontology uh, the paleontology means studying the the things of the uh, fossils it's also so important to have in a different type of simulation in between two planets and I will just shift into the uh, just having a little bit idea of the archaic astronomy because of uh, the history time it's so important whatever the things we do uh, and here this is what I just said uh, but this image is not from the Sri Lanka actually uh, from uh, uh, the University of uh, Edinburgh they have been just uh, done very extraordinary research explorations around in Turkey, Spain, uh, France and Germany and they just find out a different type of uh, rock arts uh, around in the, this uh, mentioning uh, countries uh, and the important case is uh, the, they just conclude it as like uh, in daytime the things uh, that uh, people have been just involved with hunting, gathering and all the things and at the night time they have been just back to the uh, cave and they just uh, draw something. This is the final evidences and also this has been just dated 14,000 years. It means uh, the Asian people how incorporate with the uh, astronomy is so important. The my question is now I'm just trying to be just uh, develop some of timeline from 14,000 to how we just uh, coming to the 2021. And also you can see uh, another clay tablets from the Babylonian. So this clay tablet we call it uh, like uh, the technical word it's a blind ruin it's so important one actually this also some of a coding language and this is so important to uh, classify the, some of uh, the motions of the planet earth moon and other planet because of it, this is some of uh, the calculation uh, tablets and uh, there are some of specific um, catalog so which is helping to the uh, providing uh, what it's mentioned in the, this catalog and uh, doing the uh, for the excavation things and the uh, reveal things actually it has been just uh, dated uh, 1500 years old so the next one is so important because of this one has been just uh, recalled from the University of Sri Jayavadanapura as I remember a few years ago and it has been dated uh, uh, around in 2200 uh, uh, this is uh, we call a uh, war uh, like a stone clock uh, uh, 
uh, even though right now also you if you guys just visited to the that uh, radical prehistoric site that uh, part also i think it's available this is the part that uh, asian people in sri lanka that use for the uh, calculate the timing you see it's dated 2200 years ago this is so important case because of just imagine without timing the things what the things that we have been done it's nothing even though it's time it's so important even though uh, before 2000 years earlier in Sri Lanka they used some of clock this is the clock actually you can just see the, the, the middle of the, this uh, ring uh, the stone uh, and uh, it's grill and they just put it some of stone uh, like a stick and after that uh, the uh, sun is just uh, having a sunrise and all the things happening with the rotations it it's make uh, some of uh, the shadow the shadow is the one they just uh, calculate uh, which is a uh, little bit relevant to the uh, timing pattern so it has been in uh, in, in, in Sri Lanka and so important case and uh, also uh, this one this is the part that we have been just study for those to argue astronomy uh, the calculations and patterns in before as i remember it's uh, 2000 yeah it's uh, almost uh, three years ago uh, we have been just uh, published a little technical report if you are interested in how asian people have been just uh, calculate uh, those things uh, by using the different type of technology please go with that technical report and some of our available that things that we have been just uh, revealed inside of the Sri Lanka also. So now you have a basic idea how astronomy is important to each every case as starting from the 14,000 we have very specific record step by step by step even though currently the most important case so how we going to be just involved that is the most uh, the, the dominate cases because of uh, people have just thought uh, like even though in, in Sri Lanka also uh, astronomy is just observation uh, sky and they don't know how to having a sum of job opportunity with my personal experience I know there are a lot of children and even though adults they really like to study astronomy like subject but only things uh, We achieved the university and what will be the next step and that is the most important cases but I hope uh, within uh, uh, next uh, few years later uh, it will be a little bit uh, upgrading with the sum of research and we also work in with the different type institute outside of the Sri Lanka and we just trying to be just bring different type of project which is relevant to the, the astronomy and we'll see what will happen and also uh, the, the the things I just uh, need to be explained again like uh, we just right now talking like uh, how archaeology and astronomy combination and I hope you guys are really interested of the, this Babylonian uh, K tablet so this is the one we just find out in Sri Lanka uh, the most uh, the unique and the geological attraction places in Sri Lanka like we call the Danigala I think most of people heard it. Uh, this uh, location is uh, situated in uh, Polonano district, uh, which is uh, very close to the Kambigama. Actually, uh, the last year I, I just got, got the sum of information when I was at the Kashmir. So there is some of very specific uh, uh, ruin system. It's not uh, like inscriptions. Uh, you know, inscriptions means uh, like uh, from the Singhala we call it Selipi. It's not the cell lipid, this is some sort of like a coding system just like this one. You see that the Babylonian plate of that one. So we just find out uh, from uh, this case in I think it's 2027 uh, of Joel as I remember. Uh, yeah, it's July. So then uh, after that uh, we just visited to that place and uh, try to be develop some of uh, uh, the explanations are based on the, those things because of, this is a very unique and interesting uh, pattern uh, which is found out from the inside of the Sri Lanka uh, actually I think uh, this is uh, more than 25 feet is long and uh, just uh, approximately 2 to 3 feet is just uh, like a width and uh, still this is project is ongoing and this is going to be something very huge thing in the world even though 
right now um, we are just uh, processing with the uh, encoding we call it encrypting the, what are the things that they have been just writing on this wall and what kind of relationship with archaeo astronomy that is our challenge and the project is ongoing you also can, but, but uh, i'm not going to be explained what it's uh, called from the, this uh, coding and uh, what they have been just mentioned right now it's uh, i think it's more than 75% uh, has been just completed only 25% available to just uh, conclude but uh, that's why i told you uh, in the future you will got a different type of information based on the this place because of most of people uh, know this place as an alien mountain even though uh, the our first uh, a news article that published in um, Ireland uh, they also just uh, check uh, from the Google after we just send in those technical report uh, the same scenario why people just saying like this kind of area uh, and a place like alien mountain because of shapes so this uh, phenomena it's which is cooperate with astronomy and geology and archaeology and these uh, three components are directly involved into the explain this uh, the blind ruin patterns and here another image this is the entrance and also uh, here another aerial view image i hope uh, within next uh, two to three years this project will be just uh, finished and uh, there are a lot of details will be just uh, upcoming because of this is the first project in sri lanka which is cooperate with the archaeology and astronomy those two disciplines and also uh, same time we just try to be just providing like uh, uh, astrotourism uh, like uh, I think this is some sort of like new tourism trends in, in Sri Lanka because of uh, you know our people are not that much uh, uh, familiar uh, for the, uh, the this kind of uh, the newly uh, subject but there are huge space uh, in uh, South Asian regions to provide in the like uh, astrotourism uh, because of uh, that is the uh, pattern and uh, that is the some of platform that opening to the huge job space for providing the astro tourism as well as astronomy because of uh, in the future we just hoping to just build up some of uh, specific uh, telescope which is uh, very close to the uh, uh, dining color side i think uh, you have just watched uh, some of like uh, how the haiti like uh, country just develop uh, haiti and who are how are we like uh, they just develop some of very interesting uh, telescope patterns uh, by using the different type of uh, geographical area and how they just get attraction from the that's th those subject because of we have to select very specific area when you are doing the things it's a uh, Example: If you just try to be just to install a telescope inside of the Colombo, practically I don't think it's successful. So we have to just uh, think in very broad mind. So what are the other components that we just cooperate with the, uh, this uh, subject, like tourism sector, like uh, fossils, astronomy, and food science, and all the thing? It will be added some of like uh, very uh, interesting and new experience for actually uh, people even though local and uh, foreign also the very first stage that is the initial stage uh, we just thought uh, that is the part uh, we hope to just uh, gather uh, approximately 15 to uh, 20 million i hope uh, but it's it just uh, approximately value so right now uh, department of archaeology and the central cultural fund which is under another institute of the department of archaeology which is cooperating with this project and i hope uh, within next uh, couple of months this site will be open to the uh, most of uh, people in sri lanka so then you can just have you know, this experience so just first go to see the blind ruins and what kind of combinations with the astronomy and this is going to be really really a massive experience uh, for us and also if anyone interesting in the this phenomena uh, I uh, like uh, the things that you have been done the technical report is uh, available in Google it's called Daniel coding you can just download and just read it to have in a basic idea 
and also uh, i'm just shifting to the new subject uh, under the astronomy we call it uh, paleontology and the planetary science actually like uh, paleontology is uh, what the things that we are we study in the history of uh, life uh, based on the fossils and also the planetary uh, science also uh, like studying the what kind of planet in the outside of the even though after uh, planet earth uh, and their body surface, what kind of landslides in Mars, so all the uh, phenomena just based on the, the planetary uh, science so, uh, discipline. Actually, this is uh, so important why I need to be just explained. Uh, where the paleontology and planetary science are so important to explain a simulation system. You can see that this uh, side picture, it's uh, ammonites that I taken from 2019 from the Kashmir region. Um, it is uh, some sort of like fossil salmonid also a uh, part of the fossil which is belong to the I think it's approximately uh, 300 uh, millions years ago and also you can see the right uh, side uh, the image it's a uh, uh, Nibru Valley which is very close to the Himalayan mountain this is some sort of like uh, a simulation site for comparing with the mass uh, for the uh, next slide I will show you some of uh, another information it is very interesting because of uh, having uh, this kind of phenomena it's so important to uh, get some of idea how other planets behave uh, exactly like uh, when people just arrival to the other planets uh, will it helpful to the uh, develop uh, different type of uh, living beings and other things because of uh, studying of the, the prehistoric uh, background and paleontological background of the planet Earth. It's so important to have in a, a statistic idea of uh, what kind of planet that we are live and what uh, sort of like what kind of animal that already extinctions because of those uh, the fossils it's already extinct. And again, I just uh, like to. Uh, here the another one that same fossil I just uh, uh, keep it on my hand in 2019 it's really interesting but uh, it's not uh, like to be uh, that much interesting for the healthy the case this is some sort of like very uh, hard research because we are in I think it's more than uh, 6500 uh, meter altitudes uh, from the sea level it's not uh, easy conditions to do in the, all the research but anything anyway it so it's really uh, adventurous uh, and researchable work and after that we just shifting to the India to the Sri Lanka the the, the previous one I, uh, I just show you it's uh, from some of things that we are just doing uh, the paleontology plus uh, uh, planetary science in uh, Kashmir India and this one we just shifting to the what are the things we can do in Sri Lanka and what are the projects that are currently ongoing so it's very important to the, the identify what uh, kind of uh, fossils background in uh, Sri Lanka because of it's uh, represented as I earlier told you to identify what kind of uh, the prehistoric region that we have been just lived in because of most of people didn't have any idea what is happening in that uh, very prehistoric time and how this the climate behavior and all the thing because of uh, I have noticed uh, some of discussions regarding the climate changes it's like uh, it's only relevant to the human because of it's so hard to combine even the, the prehistory and current conditions and comparing the two climates and having the conclusions it's not uh, that much uh, easy but uh, it's better to having a, a systematic study then we have some sort of like idea like how sea level changes happening around in the Sri Lanka and what kind of geography and how it's going to be changed with the different type of uh, environmental impactations so that's the things uh, we have to be just study and you can see uh, this is the some uh, geological map and based on the, this geological map there are three uh, specific places uh, I, I really need to be highlighted because of this map is not uh, highlighted that part so regarding this area we call it uh, Sabaragamu beds so we just find out uh, Pleistocene fossils this is the Pleistocene fossil you can just display from the, this image there are a lot of uh, mammalians you can just uh, find out from the, this area specifically how we just uh, excavate those 
project we are not going to be just excavate those things because of there are a lot of uh, gem sites in uh, this area you know Ratnapura is so popular for the gem industry and uh, when they trying to be just mining some of uh, gem pits uh, so very uh, uh, the the common incident that uh, they just find out uh, some of uh, uh, fossils part uh, which is uh, extensions many year, uh, years ago uh, relevant to different type of uh, animal uh, so that's how and this is the way we just uh, gather the things and after that we just having you know, some of uh, measurements and research and what kind of environmentals that available in uh, before many years ago very interesting one and also uh, uh, regarding the this uh, area uh, it's very important we can just uh, find out uh, like uh, Anigama Tabo Palama and Jurassic fossils also available in Sri Lanka specifically a uh, plant fossils it's available and also uh, uh, from the this area we call it a myosin bed uh, you can see from the this uh, color so that area is a uh, very oldest uh, the seabed it has been just uplift with the animal so you know some of uh, the cement factory also just available in the, this area this is very important site also it means uh, specifically we, we can just uh, find out three uh, type of uh, fossils uh, era uh, based on the, those things and I will show you some of things uh, the first one is crocodile single use which is extinction one the second one is uh, by those gaurus it means you heard from the Robert Knox books that gaura is uh, available in Sri Lanka this is a word from the gaura and the next one is the panthera uh, leo or panthera tiger is still not sure uh, because of this project is uh, still uh, ongoing and other one is a uh, Kangavena single use, rhinoceros single use, a uh, part of scapula. So why I just uh, represented those fossil samples? It's so important to having the idea when we just study like uh, the planetary sciences because of the paleontology is uh, the subject that which is very supportive to as having uh, some of uh, very uh, systematic explanations of the planetary science. So this is the part uh, right now it's uh, ongoing and also uh, if you need any further information this book is available on Google and if you need any hard copies you can just uh, get from the Department of Wildlife Conservation without uh, any fee because of this is a free of charge uh, book and some of things we have been just uh, consisted uh, that we have been there doing like how geotourism and geological part has been just involved into this case and in the future so we just hoping to develop another uh, technical pattern report uh, which is uh, very uh, cooperated with the astronomy and the uh, tourism part it's mean it's a uh, solid astronomy and the tourism part and also uh, this is ongoing one uh, most probably on this year September this uh, book will be released this one also free of charge you can just get it from the uh, department of wildlife and there are a lot of uh, uh, as a fossil samples and excavation things that we have been done which is relevant to the astronomy paleontology geology archaeology all the things consisted with the, this uh, technical report and also same time we just trying to be just providing this subject like which combining the astronomy and paleontology in Sri Lanka uh, based on different type of uh, technology like uh, augmented uh, reality here you can see a video uh, this is uh, what we are just doing the providing the same subject based on the AR we call it uh, a type of uh, <coughs> virtual uh, reality system uh, currently the all the things is uh, ongoing in, in inside of uh, Sri Lanka and different which is cooperated with the different type of uh, Institute and also you can see uh, this is this place is very familiar for you actually it's inside of the Karambu city center and uh, uh, as I remember uh, this year or last year uh, we have been just do some uh, test trial uh, based on the how astronomical AR and the paleontological AR synchronizing with those things so uh, actually we just supposed to do the same things on the based on the hologramic things I hope uh, you everyone has been just watched uh, that uh, the dinosaur world 
the the movie and because of uh, there are some of tricks that they have been just used it's hologramic things so it's so important to apply those things even though which is cooperated with uh, the tourism sector and getting the attractions of the each uh, people and also it's so important to do in this kind of AR uh, phenomena uh, like uh, to develop a research background and uh, doing the things it, it's because of after we just developed uh, like AR and virtual reality thing, it's so helpful to uh, provide a lot of data in research uh, manner also so these are the things in ongoing uh, the things that right now I just discussed like uh, paleontology and planetary science and how these are going to be just incorporated with astronomy paleontology and previously we just discussed archaeology and astronomy now uh, we just shift into the another one uh, the aerospace medicine this one also really interesting uh, part when we just discussed because of this topic is some sort of like a blind topic in of the even the most of countries uh, why I need to be just taking only one part uh, because of each every slides that I just represented on on, on to you today so it just said some of things we just uh, did in uh, Sri Lanka and some of things we just already introduced in Sri Lanka and some of uh, projects that we are currently ongoingly doing the things and uh, we, we, we call it uh, ultra low frequency treatment because of uh, it, it, it's an example I will just say around in the 1958 to 1965 uh, NASA has been just developed very specific uh, uh, water uh, which is uh, treatment with the ULF we call it ultra low frequency wave and it is helpful to the providing the metabolisms of the human body so that is the, the, the original innovation that they have been just uh, done for the based on the astronomical things and space explorations things after that uh, one of Singapore company called Ecospec uh, they have been just uh, trying to be just applied that technology for different type of approach like you know in current world we just using different type of things based on chemical and like uh, example like industrial things like uh, example if you just think uh, like uh, some of boilers I'm not sure some of guys just heard this kind of things the boiler means which is supposed to the heat for the, uh, the industrial level like uh, different type of factory like tea um, like different type of garment uh, clothing uh, textile the most of factories they just using uh, the uh, the boilers uh, which is based on the water and uh, if someone use the water definitely it might be having a few different type of uh, questions like uh, having uh, corrosion and having a scale that is very common phenomena so controlling the those uh, corrosions and the uh, scales so they just put a lot of chemical each every day that's what happening in Sri Lanka I'm not telling what kind of uh, companies what kind of uh, uh, institute it's not good but uh, and also the sum of values so what we are trying to do a cospec introduce no you don't need to be just put in those chemicals and we just introduce some of uh, wave treatment which is helpful to controlling uh, like uh, corrosion um, scales and also biofueling uh, biofueling also just uh, you can just see what it's happening in some of algae activities in uh, like cooling towers and other things it's something uh, the the central ac system if someone just use this phenomena is available so controlling this part also this application also okay actually that original innovation for this uh, case it's as I told you it's uh, applying for the like uh, upgrade in the metabolism but uh, currently in Sri Lanka also uh, we use it but uh, this is uh, academic session I can't say what kind of uh, companies and what other things and because of uh, there are some of uh, code station which is relevant to the code spec company uh, in Singapore one and also Sri Lanka also just uh, cooperate with them and we are doing something very uh, extraordinary ex uh, research things to provide a lot of things and also uh, this place uh, you know what is this place is an orchard and other words we call it Puttalam Power Plant 
and you see three chimneys and this is uh, something like our central hub uh, because of it somehow reason this place is uh, uh, breaking down so we have to be just having a lot of corruptions uh, based on the electricity so uh, basically it's generate around in the 900 uh, megawatts uh, each uh, there are three uh, specific chimneys and each chimney is uh, based on the 300 300 300 it's uh, rated like uh, 900 so why I just uh, represent this kind of uh, image in here the same uh, ULF application we have been applied to the uh, controlling the biofilling activities in uh, the Norachole power plant also because of uh, the when it's processing Norachole power plant uh, the cool down there they are turbine it, they just suck a lot of water from the uh, sea bed it means uh, there are a lot of uh, like uh, per hour as I remember 16,000 uh, uh, cubic meters it means uh, there are a lot of uh, suctions is there and what will happening with the, that suctions some of uh, animals that uh, in the uh, sea uh, they just trying to be just go inside of the those canal and culverts so controlling the those uh, apart what they have been just uh, done uh, artificially uh, they just uh, create a chlorine uh, and they just put it to the those culverts and actually uh, the maintaining the those uh, three uh, chlorine plant they just costed a lot and for our application we're just trying to be just ignore the those chlorine plants and introducing the those ULF application it's totally non chemical one but uh, it's not uh, ongoing one but it's uh, uh, I think it's around in 2017 it has been just uh, so developed and I thought it it's going to be really implementation in, in practical manner also we just dive inside of the those culvert and we just check uh, but a really interesting pattern uh, we also happy even though we have been done something which is cooperated with the innovation based on the astronomy and we're just trying to be applied that uh, technology in the uh, uh, technically we know it's going to be a success but uh, this is huge project and huge costed and it's not easy to do in uh, with the few years I hope in the future uh, this one also going to be implemented this is some of initial drawing plan standard planning st stage 3 plan I'm not going to be just explain anything in here but anyone interested in this uh, project that technical report also available but not a uh, version 3 uh, you can see there are a uh, few versions uh, the those image that I show you it's a version 3 this one is version 1 this one also available in the Google lens you can just check how it's uh, happening and all those things and also based on the ULF uh, technology um, after 2020 we're just trying to be introduced some of uh, newly uh, energetic uh, drink uh, for the space industry like space food this one also ongoing and but uh, it's still testing more than I hope uh, within a couple of next year this one also in the market because of this is only uh, we are just trying to be changing only some of uh, uh, chemical behavior of the uh, water uh, based on the uh, electrical treatment and with my experience actually each everyone know that H2O is very simple molecule and even though very childhood one also know uh, we call it water H2O and with uh, having some of uh, research uh, experience with the ULF treatment and water so actually practically I just understood water is some of very complicated molecule I'm not sure because of its behavior very 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 terrible sometimes because of uh, so I told you that uh, earlier side uh, we just trying to be just c controlling the corrosion it means uh, that, that uh, after we treated the uh, ULF uh, we can just convert like a uh, corroded layer like uh, we call it uh, like uh, hematite uh, hematite to magnetite we can just convert only by using the water and also we can just uh, try to be convert like calcite like uh, to the aragonite it means like hard calcium to the powder mood and also the controlling when it's talking about the uh, like uh, 
uh, biofueling activity so we can just unzip some of uh, algae at the very uh, microbial stage and very interesting fact and because of uh, water is not what we are thinking because of why we are studying this uh, currently uh, we are studying some of things in, in mars and how we're going to be like uh, space explorations and because of uh, Still, I think uh, some of research is uh, ongoing with the water behavior and how we just supply the water at the uh, mass. It's so challengeable thing. So I believe this kind of research is going to be a little bit helpful to in the future. And also, uh, even though if you're interested in this part also, you can just search on Google like uh, Ecospec. Uh, and it's available. There are a lot of uh, products and uh, things, some of our and the and uh, the things that in uh, Sri Lanka are also available so just uh, having an idea it will be so useful and also uh, when we discuss about the like uh, extreme uh, conditions and it's so important what type of extreme condition that we apply for the astronomy to the other industry so I'm not going to be just explain each everything in very uh, deeply so back to the like uh, the extreme condition so basically you know the meteorite asteroid and some of them is when they just uh, trying to be just enter into the uh, planet earth atmospheric it sends the different type of uh, behavior and some of uh, heat that they just generate uh, it has been just uh, uh, reflect a different type of uh, rocks and other things uh, with the pressure and temperature and it's very unique uh, pattern and what the things that we have been just done we just trying to be just identify all the phenomena what is happening in the extreme conditions when the meteorite entry and not only the meteorite entry even though you know uh, how some of rock formation has been just developed inside the surrounding us and uh, all those conditions we have been just studying finally we just uh, introduce some more very interesting things we call it uh, this is the chamber uh, studying the same thing because of you know when it uh, meteorite to asteroid entering the our atmospheric it has been just uh, going temperature up and we if we're doing some of the uh, similarity project in, in, in our laboratory we have to be just maintain the same temperature with the, that uh, the mineral components so the, we call it uh, like a heat uh, chamber which is consisted of the aluminium oxide and you can see some of other line by it's based on the titanium so this is the part uh, actually this one is not our one uh, it's from the uh, i think as i remember it's from the uk uh, they use uh, some of uh, meteorite parts as a gemstone specifically olivine uh, type crystallized olivine type uh, based on a meteorite so because of some one are not interesting for the meteorite after it just entered into the planet earth and they just represent in only museum but after we have in you know, some of text like uh, xdr and other mineralical identification states it have some of uh, value so uh, as i told you that uh, the this technology we have been applied in sri lanka for the sum of our low grade gemstone and so you can see this is the part uh, that before uh, we apply and this is the part uh, after we apply this is on the testing one and uh, because of uh, most of people even though they just ask from me how astronomy is uh, going to be gem industry and because of that part how uh, the meteorite when entry to the our planet uh, uh, that atmosphere and its behavior it's so unique and how mineralogical things are impacting those conditions because of that's why at the beginning i told you uh, astronomy is some of like a multidisciplinary uh, subject so we you can just approach astronomical innovation to different type of uh, sector that is the things uh, we have to do and that's how we can just pop up some of uh, job space in Sri Lanka also so then uh, uh, last few of slides this is a mass simulations uh, project again back to the uh, Hawaii and uh, as I told you, uh, when you are doing some of simulation project, uh, we just clearly have to be just identify what kind of geographical area uh, we need to be just uh, uh, 
having the uh, get the systematical idea example if you really need to be go once we are not doing directly things for the exploration smart because of there are a lot of primary simulation project uh, specifically Cosmere region Hawaii USA and some of the places in uh, UK they just selected some of extreme uh, geographical area to doing all those things and you can see uh, this uh, image also you can just represent this some of primary idea so this one is from the Ladakh Hills in India and this is the geographical uh, some of uh, reconstructed mood in Mars actually so it, this is so important to have in because of testing model in, in, in planet Earth. and also this one is really important like uh, this brownish color one it's from Usangode Sri Lanka actually uh, in 2022 we also just planning some of uh, Mars simulation space camp in, in Sri Lanka currently uh, this year we just supposing to do in India in Ladakh but uh, with the pandemic situation it has been just postponed Indian one I hope in uh, next uh, year it will be okay to do in, in Sri Lanka and some of uh, members from the Mars Society and different type of institute which is representing the, this project they also just come to the Sri Lanka this is going to be like a huge step to the providing space exploration activity in practical way because of same time we have to be just providing some of uh, research activity awareness and also uh, some of uh, the knowledge and uh, how we going to be just uh, having a job space for those students who are interested in the astronomy because of right now it's going to be like a trendy mode I hope within the next uh, five years so we'll see what will happen and also other thing uh, there is another uh, program in uh, Sri Lanka uh, we also going to be cooperate it's called Space Hero because of Space Hero is a huge organization which is cooperated with the NASA uh, in Sri Lanka and also last uh, month we also cooperate with uh, that same project that is the project that selecting people who send in the International Space Station because of uh, there are a lot of uh, underground projects uh, that allow to do in the our student uh, researchers other collaborators like uh, developing augmented reality things uh, developing like uh, robotic innovation things and like specifically based on the mass rover project there are a lot of things right now it's op having an open access for the each every student to join so actually in Sri Lanka also officially contribute for the, this project and I think this will be a really good opportunity for the, uh, the all the student and all the people who really interesting in astronomy for doing the international level things and also uh, uh, this one is from the Mars uh, Martini landslide last three years we have been studied that same place uh, based on the Ladakh uh, hills so this one is from the Ladakh uh, actually there are two projects one thing is Mars simulations one other one is uh, uh, Mars uh, the Lay water conservation high altitude water conservation project we call it uh, ice to project and you can see that uh, behind of the, this uh, people uh, this is what we call ice to this is how they just conserve water in a very high altitude uh, mountain we also just uh, cooperate for the this one and actually my part for the this one this project how we just conserve this uh, ice stupa without melting without melting so long period so it's so challengeable and also same time we just uh, study how uh, a mass landslide and the landslide in Ladakh and what kind of cooperation and what kind of simulation that we have in those two planets based on say a different type of uh, geographical area and this one is from the Lay I think it's uh, 2019 that I taken from it this I think this uh, the environment also it's I think more than uh, zero uh, uh, temperature and uh, this area is uh, as I told you this one is ice stupa one this one for the uh, simulation this is the slide sum of area we just trying to be artificially uh, pop up uh, for the uh, simulation slides because of uh, this is from the that uh, mass uh, uh, Martin A landslide one that is the place we are stimulating that same thing in Ladakh in, in India 
so this one also if uh, anyone interesting in this project uh, that uh, technical report also available in the google and you can just uh, download and read it and <clears throat> and also uh, the last year we have been uh, doing some of uh, very interesting uh, thing uh, which is relevant to the uh, sea level changes plus astronomy in the uh, prehistoric period you know uh, there are very specific uh, motion uh, we have we call it uh, Milankovitch cycle because of I think most of our know the planet earth have rotation and revolution period and after that uh, those two uh, motion we have another motion we call it uh, uh, Milankovitch cycle Milankovitch cycle is consisted with the two different styles so I will just show you uh, Uh, how our earth axis has been just going to be changed each every 26,000 uh, years per year. So this is so important case because of uh, sometimes we just have in you know, a some of very uh, quick glacier period and again shift into the interglacier period affecting those conditions. The land bridge between India and uh, Sri Lanka sometimes it has been just open and close, open and close and this is so important incident because of uh, so with our study it's very clear uh, before uh, many years ago people are uh, very easily travel in between those two uh, countries so because of uh, based on the, this research also it uh, just represented uh, the sea level uh, around in the, this uh, region has been just dropped more than uh, 25 feet actually um, we have been just uh, use a lot of uh, data especially uh, I need to remind uh, the professor Katapata he has been done very interesting uh, uh, research based on his PhD in around in 1988 as I remember uh, so the same data we use even though that uh, previous uh, technical report that I show you that uh, Gio Tourism one he, he is the first author for that one also so collaborating with those different type of scientists uh, like it's not only the astronomical one uh, sometimes we just collaborated with the ecological uh, scientist from the China especially I need to remind her name also the Najda she also doing a really interesting work in our research and the professor Katapata and so with this old slide you can just uh, see uh, how astronomy deals with uh, different type of discipline and different type of field and things uh, what we can do and also uh, you see that some of uh, simulation model so this is what will happen in 12,500 years ago uh, in between Sri Lanka and India it's totally uh, like a frozen like a glacier period a quick glacier period and but currently it has been just changes and uh, with the sea level rising it has been divided so these are the things uh, I need to be just explain like uh, how as I told you astronomy going to be just uh, incorporated with the medical sector and uh, like uh, paleontology geology archaeology and this is where we depth subject and the important case is uh, we have to exactly identify how we are going to be putting those subject in very specific places and how we are going to be give some of opportunity to the, our research researchers and the students also uh, how this kind of subject is going to be contribute with the, our sustainable economy but those are the things uh, in the further we need to be just uh, clarify and uh, having uh, some of very systematic idea for the, our next generation.